Wahoo! I'm a Super Mario. Wahoo! Ooh, that looked like it landed right on Timber Earth. Flight trajectory still? Does it take that long? Oh. Does the autopilot not work the way you expect it to? Firing retro rockets. There's a shortcut going up there, it means there's probably a reason to go there right at the beginning of a loop. What that reason is remains to be seen. I will try it sometime, but not this time. This time. It's all about that cliffside mortuary. We still need to explore more of the stuff around that cliffside too. More, more of the structures. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that before we go back to the other world. I know I'm flip-flopping on my current objective. First it was the tower, then it was the cliffside mortuary. Now it's just the cliffside. Let's explore this area a bit more. This way. See, I saw that tower. Thinking there was a location over here, or behind me rather, that I'd been kept that I kept on missing. When it turns out, the tower is identical, but it was in a totally different world. a little bit more. Oh. Well. Let's not go down that way. Okay, so that's a one-way elevator, I'm guessing. So in other words, I had to explore this way regardless. snap into place the way I wanted it to. Oh, not back in the elevator. All right, there's the mortuary. That is... Okay, that's the elevator down. I do not need to take that. So that's just gonna take me back, back to where I started here. So here is... Huh. 
Did they burn more slides here? No. Okay. another eye shrine and it got wrecked too or it just fell apart one or the other it didn't get burned down like the other one did though there's a chain behind that is that for lifting it up or something oh we got another code to decode. Okay, last time we found the code, it was on the top of a chest. projector rooms really look similar to each other. Is this a place I've already been to? Wait, is it? So I saw the third phase already. Man, okay, yeah. We've already been here. This is just, this just connects. Okay, that door was locked from this side. So that's just a shortcut I opened up. Should I just try the same one as before? Sun, ask, fire, ask, fire. No, it's not the same one. Or is it fire, mask, fire, mask? No. should be hidden here somewhere. I don't actually know what this place is supposed to be. anything hidden there, but figured I should check, since that's how I found out the code before. It's just shooting my scout in a random spot, hoping it, it happens to be the right one. Could the code be on one of these? Slide reel. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna double check these slide reels. I don't think this one has anything useful on it, but. Yeah, yeah, that one was a quickie. Now this 
this one. Okay, this is the one that showed them going to sleep. So that might also not be that useful in this case. I might already have all the information I need from this one. still breathing, so they're still alive. At least as far as that movie shows. Because, I mean, they probably wouldn't show it themselves getting killed. And then still do it. Okay, so that does not solve our current dilemma, though. with this wall here. Why does it seem like there's stuff behind there that I should get hit? I should be able to see. Oh, here we are. No, that's just the same room still that I'm in currently. You know what? I bet that elevator has something to do with it. our steps, maybe there's something we missed. Oh. Yeah, the ghost matter. The ghost matter is something we missed. I missed you, ghost matter. Said no one ever. Ah, oh, here comes the tsunami. information up here. Forcing. That seems 
seems kind of lame. But I don't know how else you're supposed to solve this. It was written on the top of a chest like these before. two rooms are connected kind of makes me feel like there's an answer here. Hmm. We might be barking up the wrong tree. Let's go in here. Wait. What's this supposed to look like? Skill came in handy at some point or another. Now the question is, can I actually get over there? There we go. Now we're there. There is an open door over here. I've probably already even been in this. important. They're playing chess. Alien chess. No, yeah, it's just, just alien chess. Okay. Cool. So, I need to get back up here. Here I was thinking I should probably just call it a night here, but I've got one more thing I can explore. That looks like Based on how difficult it was to get, it's probably kind of important. There we go. Just go back up to this projector room here. Before we run out of time. I don't know how close we are to the end, but I'm thinking we're getting pretty close. This might have the code on it, or it might not. 
might have to get the boat somewhere totally different, for all I know. Okay, there's no intro panel on this one. That's weird. was going to make that my last loop, but I kind of want to do one more. Just to check out that, whatever that explosion is, on the stranger, on the outside. I kind of had the feeling that I was going to have to explore the outside of the stranger at some point or another. I gave it a little bit of a look, but I didn't give it a serious investigation. Now we have that, whatever it was, some sort of event happening outside. Could be equipment error, could be some sort of attack. I don't know. Could be an entrance that just opened up. It led us into somewhere we weren't able to get into before. So, it wasn't a code, unfortunately. I'm gonna look around a little bit more, just to make sure I can't find that code. But I'm thinking we're gonna invest, we're gonna start the beginning of the next loop. Yeah, we're at the end of this loop now. I kind of thought we might have been, but that's okay. Heck, we're here now. I'm just trying random codes. Just I don't even know what this is for. Like what does it accomplish? Does it move those chains in the back? It's not a door. At least not obviously a door. Could it be five stars? Wouldn't it be hilarious if that was it? in this alien civilization, if that's what they had for passwords. Alright. I'm not gonna wait for fade out. I'm just gonna meditate. Do an end of the loop meditation. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't even know what the point of that is. I'll check our ship logs, see if there's any new information. And we'll go from there.
I don't know why I do Super Mario here. Destination. Let's check our ship's log. Shrouded woodlands, candlelit tower, fire chamber, abandoned temple, hull breach. Okay, not the hull breach. That is where we want to go next. Found a slide reel and hidden gorge that shows an explosion blowing a hole in the side of the stranger. Interesting how it doesn't actually tell you where. Autopilot does not behave correctly when you're not sitting here. Now, is this the side we want to be on? I don't think it is. Oof. Oh, reactor. Okay, I need to deal with that then. Come on. Oof. Turns bright red when it happens to port hull damage. <laughs> I'm not even in my. Oh no, I am in my spacesuit. Where's the stranger? I bounced right off of it. Is this the right spot? Or is it on the- no, yeah, this is the right spot. force. Gotcha. Oh. It's just wood in here. this place. Okay. This is... the doors too much. I mean, they just wanted to do that to get a better idea of what I'm looking at. Okay. Whoa. This records and plays back. So, oh, 
Let's not do that again. Um, okay, the fire's not lit. Was that other fire lit? No, it's not. What do we... He's not here with an artifact. He's here with a regular lantern. What is he seeing? where they developed these artifacts. And that must have been an early version. This is the one that looked like a lantern. Where am I now? Hmm. Oh. I know where we are. Wait, no I don't. Am I back at the cliffside, though? I think I am. Yeah, I am. That's what I thought when I saw that raft sitting there. Okay, well, we got this now. It's good that we have a shortcut to here as well. So now we can get here sooner. Which is good for going back into the mortuary and exploring the other world. Oh man, this is like... Oh! Oh! Okay, we got to see that happen. That secondary loud noise, I'm still not entirely sure where it's coming from. It sounds like it's coming from that side of the dam. the lantern temple the lantern shrine the yeah the thing that the mortuary hides within I'll probably check that out in a little bit I want to check out this slide reel first though That's probably how they developed the artifacts, but still not entirely sure why. happening there. Okay, this is the third version. So the first one failed, 
something funny happened with the second one. The third one was a success. That's what I'm seeing. Or that's how I'm understanding it, at least. Okay, well. Let us go check things out. Now the question is, do I keep my damage if I go in there as I am now? I mean, I think ideally you go in there without taking damage. But there's some spooky stuff in there. Okay, well I can't even tell because... Oh. Say that and like... I take damage almost immediately just by touching the fire that brought me here. Taste my steps from before. So there totally was a dude there. Oh hey, there's one of their stringed instruments. Did I go up last time? I don't believe I did. This place is huge though. Oh, they play concerts here. creepy. hand things over there. Oh. Is that another statue? Okay, I don't see a way to get over there, but there probably is a way to get over there. Let's check it out. Watch I watch I make this jump and land and it kills me. Ooh, ouch. It didn't kill me, but I could tell it was like a serious damage thing. I snapped my ankles pretty good on that one. Yeah, that's another one of the statues, but I don't know how to get to it. Hmm. Well, we'll continue exploring. doesn't even react to you focusing your light on him. Maybe he's sleeping. I don't know. That's possible.
wonder if there's a way to get down there and interact with them. Oh, there goes the dam. I can still hear stuff going on outside, so that kind of makes says to me... This is like a dream world. Heck was that? threatening music. There we go. That's cool. I like that. We need that in real life. What's up here? Did I explore up here yet? Or is this where I came from? That's where I came from. Okay, and... Oh, can we go down and visit our buddy here? Can we make a friend? What's the point of this? Is there a point to this room? No. I haven't actually had a reason to use this yet. Oh wait. Will I be able to use it here? Hmm. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like there's a huge... There's much of a point in concealing your light. It will probably come up at some point, though. And here I was thinking there'd be, like, owlmen, like, stalking around that you'd had to hide from or something like that. Let's go down here. No. You know what? Let's not go down here. must be something else here. Something else to this area. Because this place is huge and it takes you so long to get through, but you don't gain anything from it, it seems like. Other than just the challenge of getting through, I guess. This room seems like it has something important to it, but doesn't seem like it does. I don't know.
there's something about this place that seems important. Like, why else would they have that big painting of... Unless it's just, just the hint. This is just a hint to tell you, hey, if you see this place, go to it. And you know what? It's like, it's kind of a redundant hint, because there's not very many places you wouldn't want to go to in this game. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Let's try going back in here. Yeah. his head. Doesn't seem like he's asleep, but he's not reacting to me either. is very effective at being creepy though. Like if you wanted to make a creepy thing, make the alien that you don't see in person, like just sitting down there, apparently ignoring you. little path down. Why the noise? Why the noise? Okay, it's not coming from this dude. It's the end. just hang out here at the end. I don't think that's the answer, but I don't know what else this room could be for. And I've seen some spooky things so far. But I haven't seen anything that would justify having a reduced frights option. Which in itself kind of makes me nervous. Kind of makes me think there are frights coming, I just haven't seen them yet. I mean, that looks pretty spooky right there. A tree like that. Alright. I think this might be my last loop of the night. And there it goes. Alright. I just realized I had my camera on the wrong side. Not that it mattered for that section. Couldn't see my health bar. Anyway. 
The effectiveness of my decision-making skills is probably just going to go down at this point. It's getting late enough, and I'm getting sleep-deprived enough. So I think we'll call it a day. There. Oh, oh man. Okay, so I said before I was satisfied with this DLC. Now I have to say, it is exceeding my expectations. It is better than I would have expected. And it's like just the right kind of creepy. And it's going in just slightly different enough direction that it has more stuff to explore. If, if my theory is correct and these creatures are just going off into their like alternate world that's actually like a fantasy VR type thing. That's a cool idea. If that's how they decide to wait for the end of the universe. Which like, if you got the end of the universe coming up on you, you may as well. Gotta figure out something to do with your time, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. Anyway. I'll be back at this again. Mm, tomorrow night. Yeah, we're gonna do some. We're gonna stream this some more tomorrow night. Um, not exactly sure when, but we'll figure it out. So I've got classes throughout the day, and I've got some homework I need to get done before Friday. But beyond that, we'll figure things out. As for now, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the stream, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm probably gonna go crash now. Everybody have a good night. Take care. <laughs>